Could you take out the U.S. military with an EMP? EMPs, or electromagnetic pulses, are effectively massive bursts of electromagnetic radiation, or energy, usually produced by a nuclear detonation, but potentially also produced using specialized antennas and a great deal of power output. Now, EMPs can disrupt, damage, or even destroy electronic components by overwhelming their circuits with energy flowing through them. Now, in a best-case scenario, that might just disrupt the function of your electronics, but in a worst-case scenario, it could literally burst those circuits, leaving your electronics worthless from now on. And this is something the United States has been worried about since the 1950s, ever since they first started noticing how nuclear detonations had a seriously adverse effect on nearby electronics. In fact, in 1962, the United States conducted a secret high-altitude nuclear detonation called Starfish Prime, which saw a 1.4 megaton nuclear warhead detonated about 250 miles above the Pacific Ocean. The EMP produced by this blast extended much further than anyone had anticipated, knocking out streetlights in Hawaii 900 miles away and disrupting the function of at least eight of the only 24 satellites in orbit at that time. And ever since then, the United States has seen the threat posed by EMPs as clearly serious. But as time went on and our reliance on technology increased, our vulnerability to EMP attack increased right alongside it. And today, the EMP threat is really the primary threat posed by minor nuclear powers like North Korea and even Iran. It would be extremely unlikely that North Korea could launch enough ICBMs at the U.S. to overwhelm American defense systems. But one high-altitude nuclear detonation could potentially wreak havoc on America's electrical grid. Now, the extent and severity of that damage and how long it would take to recover is a subject for another video. But as for whether or not the U.S. could respond militarily, the answer is almost certainly yes. You see, the United States military has been preparing for a nuclear conflict, which would inherently involve EMPs since the heyday of the Cold War. And today, many tactical and strategic aircraft are designed to work as sort of Faraday cages, hardening them against EMPs not as a strictly defensive measure, but as an offensive one as well. You see, aircraft like the F-16, the F-15E, the F-35, the B-2, and the B-21 are all designed to deliver nuclear weapons that themselves produce an electromagnetic pulse. And as a result, platforms designed to deliver these weapons have to be hardened against the EMPs that will result from their detonation. But the complicated truth is hardening against an EMP is a lot like hardening against a nuclear attack. In other words, being hardened against EMPs doesn't mean you are immune to all EMPs, but rather that you're protected against EMPs up to a certain degree of severity. And just how severe an EMP platforms like the F-35 or the B-2 can withstand is obviously classified information. But if you still find yourself worrying about an EMP attack, you should know that in 2004, Congress commissioned a study into American vulnerability to this sort of attack, which found that civilian infrastructure is far more vulnerable than military systems, platforms, and facilities, but nonetheless did identify a number of military vulnerabilities as well. Immediately after this study concluded, Congress used their findings to establish the Defense Threat Reduction Agency as a subsidiary of the Defense Department, whose primary job is offsetting vulnerabilities against weapons of mass destruction, with its focus placed first on EMPs. And in 2017, the Department of Defense released Military Standard 3023, High Altitude EMP Protection for Aircraft. This lists in clear language the standards and engineering requirements to protect aircraft from EMP. Now that document is classified, and as a result, the EMP protection standards of U.S. military aircraft 
remains classified as well. So we can't say for sure just how vulnerable they may be. But thanks to MIL standard 3023, efforts are underway to offset these vulnerabilities and new aircraft being built have to meet a certain minimum requirement. So could you take out the US military with an EMP? The answer is no, but you could give them a really bad day.